Looks like human resources has been processed. I'd feel worse about that if they ever did anything about all the sexual harassment. Y you'd think Alucard was the worst offender. How's oh, that for some salt? Ugh, God damn it! What's the point of coming up with all these one-liners if they're all dead when I say them? To be fair, it wasn't really that funny to begin with. It's a matter of perspective, really. Fuck you, that's out. <laughs> Zorin, was it? L listen, Zorin, this old fucking place is my ass. You ain't the queen vampire bitch, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you know what we Brits always say? God save the queen. Dear Chief Replacement, I wanted to send you this friendly little letter to inform you of your imminent demise. If you're curious about the frequency of which I've sent these letters, it is merely to instill as much fear as I can, as if basting a turkey, which I will then proceed to have sex with. That's right, I'm going to fuck the fear turkey. Follow me on Twitter at the Crimson Fucker. The funny thing is, in any other circumstance, you might have had a point there. Except my boss is a woman, I was a chick in the 40s, I hate everyone equally, and there's no one alive who could comprehend my sexual preference. So in other words, Miss Fadwinkle, cha 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 check your privilege! After all these years, you finally get to stick it in me, and you put it in the wrong hole. Oh, look at you! You've gone from daddy to daddy! It all because you wanted this! <laughs> and here it is, folks! The return of... Bite your fucking tongue! Jolly Wally! Oh, how many years has it been? Fuck you! That nickname was never clever! Aw, oh, Jolly Wally doesn't like his nickname! <gasps> Jolly Wally's being a sad lad! Fuck! Oh, but if only we had the opportunity! Could have avoided all the sexual tension and treachery. Excuse me? Please, we both know the reason you sold your soul was because you never got to hear. Uh, Walter son, basic <laughs> You know, I mean, unironically. Cut it out. That's right, it's a blast from your past with that sass and lolly ass. Am I no way enough for you? Why can't you take this seriously? Because that's what you want. And I'm not going to give it to you. That or my pussy. But really, you're dodging a bullet there. Rows of teeth. For the love of- Like a shark. Well, ain't you just the textbook fucking definition of classy. But guess what, Jeeves? That garage wire won't do shit for dick against armor this thick. What's that, Alfred? How thick is it? Well, half as thick as my dick, so thick enough that you need a fucking anti-tank rifle to pierce it. And I don't even see a piece on your wrinkly old ass. Following is a fan base parody. Helsing Ultimate is property of Kota Hirano and Studio Madhouse. The fuck is this? You assholes brought me back from the dead to read this legal bullshit? No, 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 no. Fuck that. If I'm gonna come back to life to read a fucking line, then it's gonna be my kind of fucking line. <clears throat> my throbbing vampire dick is a fan base parody. Its shaft, balls, and scrotum are property of me, Jan Valentine, and whatever bitch I happen to be giving it to at the time. Please support my dick by helping with its official release. You know you want to. Wow, gee willikers, mister. I sure am sorry for slaughtering all your guards and tearing up your mansion. I promise I've learned my lesson. Ah, fuck, take a joke, asshole. And everything you say just pisses me off. Now you're going to tell me everything I want to know. All right, all right. What you do is you go down to the local pharmacy, ask for something called Viagra, and it'll help you go fuck yourself. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And now for the upcoming company picnic. Unfortunately, all your douchebag co-workers are bringing is their own rotten flesh. Still better than potato salad, if you ask me. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna go eat that health thing, bitch! I got your arm! So dump it up your ass! <laughs> well, that's not fair at all. 
Miss Liebelingham. We were prepared for a full-on tactical assault. Instead, we got a volley of swastika-covered dipshits running dick first into enemy territory. Still kind of crazy, though, isn't it? No way! If you told me two years ago, when we were either starting or ending a war in the Middle East, that we'd end up fighting Nazi vampires, I'd have kissed you full on the mouth. But now, all I feel is robbed. Well, if it makes you feel any better, there's a giant woman outside. What? Next time, maybe I'll get past first base. <laughs> ah, fat chance. You're far too funny, why? What a lot like me. Ah, okay. Let's grab some knee pads, a stiff drink, and gobble his cock. You want to sit back and whimper like the little preschool bitch you are? Go ahead! But Alucard isn't here. He's on a fucking boat, and there's not a goddamn thing we can do about it. So do some fucking soul searching, or locate the shadow remains of your testicles. And hope, like always, that the girl comes first, before that barricade gives way, and you're made into the world's whiniest lunchable!